hi guys welcome back welcome back so i realized that the video i uploaded earlier was faulty apologies apologies guys apologies so um i don't know what's wrong with my uh, screen recorder it's acting up so if you know can you rec can anybody recommend any very good screen recorder for me in the comment section i would really appreciate it so now to today's video i promised you guys that i am going to do a video on mendeley so no matter what this screen recorder is doing i want to make sure that i deliver on that so in today's video we're going to talk about how to use mendeley to make our life easier so if you are on the table of doing analog referencing copy and paste you go and look for a copy you paste when you're done you start rearranging it you start putting it in the format it's supposed to be all that needs to stop so get seated and enjoy this video because it is so easy it is like downloading an app on your mobile phone so let's enjoy the process so what do you do when you want to use this mendeley first what is this mendeley it's a reference software so that means you have to do some installations so go to google and search for and search for mendeley reference manager so when you do that click on this mendeley reference manager and then you're here mendeley reference manager okay so you go ahead and download it and install it it is that straightforward so right now once you've done that you go into the app and i'll tell you how to use it and you can pretty much start using it immediately it is that easy there's no rocket science to it so let's go to the app now if you have downloaded the app this is what it should look like when you open it this is the mendeley reference manager if you downloaded the mendeley desktop there might be a bit of difference in how uh, the graphics looks like it's still white and black though but the way it's written but it pretty much means the same thing so the first thing you would do because you're downloading it for the very first time is to go to tools right here and make sure you install this mendeley web importer and install mendeley site for microsoft word so if you're using the mendeley desktop like i mentioned instead of this install mendeley site for microsoft word what you will see is ms plugin install ms plugin it's the, it means the same thing so just go ahead and click it and uh, install both they are pretty much straightforward and then i'll tell you how you'll be able to use it shortly so now you have the mendeley understanding that this this my own page is uh is full of references because i have been uh, used it over and over so but if you're using it for the first time you won't have this many references in fact you might not have any references at all so the only way to use mendeley is to populate it that means you have to put you have to give mendeley some references to save for you before you'll be able to use those references when you are typing so how do you do that the first way is to add if you have like a pdf file of a journal article that you have downloaded you can easily add it to mendeley so go to your computer file if you have any any pdf i have some pdf like this one so i just drag it and drop it in here it is that straightforward and it adds it to the references that's the first way so i have just added a journal article so it contains all the sections but in some cases like or uh, maybe you are uploading uh a page of a textbook and it doesn't have some details you might have to impute those details manually so how do you do that you come to this add new again and what you do is to add manual entry click on that so add manual entry you put in all these details reference the title the authors the journal the year the pages all that and then you add the entry this is not in all cases just in some cases when the article doesn't contain this thing and so mendeley is unable to find it so you might have to put it there yourself and then you add entry and it's that straightforward so the third way to do it is is so awesome let me let me first type it if you're using the old uh the old type of mendeley you will have something around this area that says 
literature review. It's like Mendeley search engine, just like Google. So you pretty much go in there and then you type what you're looking for. And why this is different from Google is because it doesn't just bring random blogs, random things for you to see. It brings journals, peer-to-peer -peer review articles, like substantial stuffs, books that are very relevant. So it makes it makes it, it makes your work quite easy. So because this is not the old form of Mendeley now, how you can achieve that right now is to go to tools. If you go to tools, you say search for articles online. So if you click that. See what it does it brings you here welcome to mendeley so whatever you're looking for say for example i'm searching for indigestion indigestion so it does brings out all the relevant very relevant you can you can even filter it according to whatever you want this journal you want this book conference proceedings anything so once you have this now how do you now add it to your Mendeley, right? So what do you do? You click on this add to library. Once you click on this add to library, just a second. Once you click on that add to libraries, because I'm just opening it for the first time, that's why like in a while, that's why it's written like that. It's, it has added it already. So you can do that over and over again. So let's do that again so that you can see it. See, click this add to library. And it just changes that's it you can see view in library that means it's already in your Mendeley. but if it's an article that you don't know what it contains and you want to have an idea before you even save it as a useful reference that means you might probably have to go through the abstract so you can click on the literature right here and then the abstract pops up see this is the abstract so once you're sure okay i want to use it then you can go ahead and add to library either where i showed you earlier or here you click add to library as well and it has added it to your mendeley it is that straightforward those are the ways that you populate your mendeley within the app within the app those are the ways that you populate it so the final way that you populate it is remember i asked you to install a web plugin immediately you open the uh, app earlier so this is what the web plugin looks like right here this mendeley web importer so say for example you're using you know here this page right now we're using the mendeley search engine basically so let's say you're using google for example say you're using google scholar let's say we're using google scholar for example and uh, we're looking for articles that we can also use that are not that uh mendeley did not suggest okay so let's go ahead and search for maybe uh, carries, carries in children. Okay, let's say that's what we're looking for now. We're looking for carries in children. So we we'll have all these articles, and then we're like, okay, oh, I like this one by Mario, and I want to add it, and I want to add it to whatever uh, to my reference list. So since I already have this, I'm like, okay. So I just go to this plugin right here. And I click on Mendeley over there. And that's all I need to do. And it brings out the reference so that I can see it. See, this is it here, yeah, right here. And then what it does also is to suggest other pages. Here, you only suggested one, but I'm sure it will search more and then see if there are more that you can suggest. Right here, the PDF is not found. That's okay. You can always come back to read the full article or go to Cochrane where it is and read the full article. So if you like the this particular uh, article in question, you just have to click add. So you add it. And that's it. You've added it to your Mendeley. It's part of your references like that. It is that straightforward. So let me show you once more that it shows many more suggestions aside aside the ones you just did right now it didn't show enough let's say for example let me type something that is quite common say obesity obesity in children okay let's say obesity in children and we have this one right here so we click on that and it brings us here so what do we do We go to this Mendeley web importer. 
and we save it. It's taking its time, precious time. Yes, so you see now, it has 40 more references detected. These are suggestions for you that you can also add. So if you like this now, okay, I like this article. I've gone through it. I've skimmed it. I like the abstract. I think it will be useful for me. Then I go ahead and add it to my Mendeley. So pretty much it has added it. So now let's go into the app. We've added so many. See, we've added so many. And now you have the question, what if I have like three essays to write? And I have to use Mendeley to bring in all the articles together. Won't I get confused which one belongs to where? So what you have to do is come to new collections right here and you can always categorize your like you can always group your references together say you have coursework one coursework one you save it like that and you have coursework two or coursework uh two yeah let's just say two let's just give it that name enter so once you get here and you're like okay for coursework one let me go ahead and add the references you can see there is nothing there right now so go to all references and click on the ones you want to add to coursework one you click on it on let's just say this three one two three and then you come right here to organize and you add to collection so you add to coursework one you see right there and once you add it to collect coursework one just click on add that's it. It saves it saves it into coursework one. So if you click on coursework one right now, you will see those three references. That's how you group your references so that you don't get confused when you have a lot going on. Now you have all this. How does it help you when you're typing? So let's go to Microsoft Word and let me show you. Remember you installed the plugin for Microsoft Word earlier. Let me show you how it helps there. All right. So welcome to my Microsoft Word. So when you get to Microsoft Word, you just go straight to references right there. Once you click on references, this change everything changes. Then you will see the what's it called for uh, Mendeley. So click on references. I don't know why this is so slow. Click on references. Yes, there we have it right here. Insert citation and all this, so you can see the Mendeley icon. So I have gone ahead to write these ones out and then I'm going to show you how to put citations in front of any sentence you have. And what do you do? All you have to do is just insert citation. That straightforward. Once you click on insert citation, it's going to bring up an option for you. So once you click on this insert citation, you have this option right here. And then you can now type the reference you're looking for into it like any one of this we just select it and we click on ok and then it brings the reference besides it that's it and then we do the same for all of them like that add citation again and then you click on any one put it like that see just that straightforward add another citation again as many as you want to just pick any like once you're sure of it just put it and then it will definitely put it in there for you add citation i'm doing like four so that we'll be able to do the bibliography the main reference part of it okay so with all this now being done so how do you now do your reference list right so for the reference list you just go ahead and write your references references and then you come here pretty much straightforward insert bibliography and we have it all the references okay we used one choice all the references that we have right here are all in here see and that's it those are all the references we have it all and there is nothing else we're looking for again that's it you get so you can use this for any of your write of anything so no more analogs all right, guys, I hope you have benefited from this. And if you have any query, just make sure you leave it in the comment section or shoot me an email. It's in the it's in the description box as well. All right, guys, so make sure you use this and stop typing your references. This would even arrange it for you in alphabetical order. And you can also change the style, whether APA, MLA, whatever, Chicago, you can change it right here. So you can always use that. So guys, make sure you do that. Till I see you again in my next video. 
make sure you put a small